Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a rainy day here in New York City. It's actually been raining the past four days here and it's supposed to rain for the rest of the week. But here on the channel, we, we like to have every day as an adventure. So today I'm gonna take you guys along with me through New York City in the rain and with my friend Gabe. Yo! Come on Gabe, I'm getting drenched man! So this is Grand Central Terminal. Not only did the whole station cost over $2 billion to build, but that clock behind me alone is worth nearly $20 million. And rumors are beneath it holds a secret staircase to the downstairs. I heard a rumor that there's a staircase in there. Is that true? Yeah, it connects to two information booths. That's amazing. I can't go up there, can I? No. Unfortunately, it's not open to the public, which is understandable as there is close to 1 million people every single day that come through Grand Central Station. On the ceiling, you will find a mural of the Mediterranean Sea, and a fun fact is it's actually backwards since it's supposed to be from God's vantage point. A tip if you were trying to catch a train here is that all of the departures are always listed as one minute earlier than their actual time, so commuters have an extra 60 seconds to run and reach their platform. There is also an Apple store and even a public tennis facility. Okay, so we've been just exploring around Grand Central and we stumbled upon this elevator and it says that there is a tennis court on the fourth floor, so we're gonna try and see if we can get to it. Maybe play some tennis? Good thing about it, they're always stuck. No one knows about them, so you can get all the Skittles and Snickers that you want. Still gotta pay for it, but... <laughs> Dang, I got no money. <laughs> got you, bro, I got you. This is what friends are for. Having your back, when you don't have enough money, you get a Snickers. It's the best day ever. So guys, I had no idea about that tennis court or that. One, two, three. Nice to meet you. So I didn't know about the tennis court nor that secret vending machine. Thank you again for that Snickers bar. But now I used to always go to this whisper wall where you can talk on one side of the wall and then 30 feet on the other side, someone can hear you whispering. So right now we're gonna find the whisper wall. You ready to whisper, Gabe? Yes. So guys, we were looking for a little bit for the Whisper Wall. I haven't been here in a couple years, but it's actually underneath the bridge right here. And you can't miss it because everyone is talking into a wall. It looks like they're praying, but they're doing the Whisper Challenge. We're gonna try it out, you ready? Let's do it. Okay, Brett, Brett's over there. We're about to whisper to the wall. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, Brett. Say hi. Hi, Brett. Hi, Brett. Say it to the wall. Hi, Brett. Oh! Brett. 
subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe. There must be a technique to it. You have to speak a little bit up. up you can't right? speak just normal. You have yeah. to. Give a little uh, leverage. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. Say I'm acting light skin. I can't take you nowhere. This a place for families that drive Camrys and go to Disney. So I hope you guys enjoyed this rainy day episode. And if you did, make sure to leave it a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these travel videos. But for right now, Gabe and I are headed to the Museum of Sex. So until next time, remember to get out and get busy.